up. Excuse me. Oh, good day. How you going? Uh, my name's Daz, but my mates call me Dazza. I'm just here to talk about me little mate uh, Baz, actually, because pickle me grandmother. The silly old bug has gone bloody missing. Yeah, look, Baz just vanished like a fart in a fan factory, you know? And I'm a little pissed off about it, actually. Uh, seeing the blood just still owed me a six-pack. <laughs> but, yeah, no one knows what happened to the little bastard. Um, but I've got a few ideas. You see, Baz used to love his sport. Now, while I'm happy to blow the froth off a few colbies and <laughs> watch it on the telly, Baz fancied himself as a bit of an athlete. <laughs> if you're going to be playing full-contact sport... You gotta be able to take it. Maybe Baz just wasn't up to it. Oh, and then there's Baz's sense of direction. Jeez. It's pretty bloody useless. I'll bet you 50 bucks Baz is headed straight past the black stump into Toad Popper's run. All toads should know. That's dangerous territory, right? Huh? Most people do know that, but Baz... Yeah, I don't know. If that's where he's ended up, he'd better like pancakes. Jeez, oh, that's a bad way to go. Of course, there is one other thing we toads come across around these parts. A real mean bastard. Built like a brick shit house, with teeth that could rip a bloke inside out, you know? They call him Victor. Look, if Baz wasn't careful, Big Victor would be all over him like flies on shit. He'd only have the time it takes to shotgun a tinny before his ass was grass. Oh, Baz. But then, folks round here, they reckon I don't know one end of a dog's bowl from another, and they could be right. Anything could have happened to Baz, I know that. I'm not stupid. But, uh, but Baz, if you are out there somewhere, come back, mate, eh? <laughs>